ഹായ് ഐ എം ഹരിമോഹൻ ഫ്രം ഇക്കണ്ണൻ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് സെൻറ്റർ മജ്ലിസ് ആർട്സ് ആൻഡ് സയൻസ് കോളേജ് പുറമണ്ണൂർ ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ഫോട്ടോ കെമിസ്ട്രി വിച്ച് ഇസ് എ ടോപ്പിക് ഇൻ ഫിസിക്കൽ കെമിസ്ട്രി ആഫ്റ്റർ വാച്ചിങ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ യു ആർ ഏബിൾ ടു ഡിഫൈൻ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഫോട്ടോ കെമിസ്ട്രി ആൻഡ് ദെൻ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ സം കൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ലോസ് ഇൻ ഫോട്ടോ കെമിസ്ട്രി and then derive the mathematical expression for that photophysical loss then you are able to find out the concentration of a solution using beer lambert law these are the uh, this will be the uh, learning outcomes of this video okay so first of all we are going to discuss about what is photochemistry photochemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with the study of many processes many chemical and physical processes uh, which are induced by the absorption or emission of visible or uv radiations that is the radiation under the wavelength of 200 to 800 nanometer okay then the process under photochemistry are broadly classified into two they are first one is photochemical process and then second one is photophysical process then photochemical process are the process chemical reactions induced by the absorption of radiation for example for photochemical process photosynthesis then photophysical process all the process other than chemical reactions are known as photophysical process for example fluorescence and phosphorescence are the example for uh, photophysical process then interaction of radiation with the matter Re- uh, interaction of radiation with the matter are many there like uh, refraction reflection uh, absorption emission etc but here photochemistry mainly focus- focused on the changes in the energy level of molecules on absorption of e- uv and uh, visible radiations Uh, and, and the uh, consequent process involved absorption of a radiation occurs due to the interaction of matter with the radiation the interaction may be with magnetic field or electric field of the radiation that's all then bohr condition it is a condition for transferring from a lower energy level to the higher energy level by absorbing radiation radiation which is known as bohr condition bohr condition is that e2 minus e1 is equal to delta e is equal to h nu where e2 is the higher energy level and e1 is the lower energy level delta e is the energy level difference between these two energy levels and h is the planck's constant and nu is the frequency of that radiation absorbed radiation okay then there are some photophysical laws uh, in case of pure substances the photophysical law is lambert's law and in case of solution photophysical law is beer's law uh, the lambert's law states that when a beam of monochromatic radiation passes through a pure homogeneous medium the rate of decrease of intensity of radiation with the thickness of the absorbing medium is directly proportional to the intensity of incident radiation then in the case of solution beer's law says uh, says that when a beam of monochromatic radiation passes through a solution containing an absorbing substance the rate of decrease of intensity of radiation is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution then we have to move to the mathematical expression of these laws first one is mathematical expression of lambert's law here minus di by dx is proportional to i where i is the intensity of radiation and x is the thickness of absorbing material now we are uh, multiplying this uh, this uh, equation with a constant uh, proportionality constant or uh, uh, right constant the uh, di by dx is equal to k dash into i then uh, where k dash is the absorption coefficient next mathematical expression for bs law which is minus di by dx is proportional to c then we are again uh, multiplying this equation with a constant known as absorption coefficient or uh, right co- uh, proportionality constant that is minus di by dx is equal to k w dash into c where c is the molar concentration of the solution and x is the thickness of absorbing column k w dash is known as absorption coefficient then next we are discussing about beer lambert law beer lambert law is a combination of beer law and lambert law which says that when a beam of monochromatic radiation passes through a solution of an absorbing substance the rate of decrease of intensity of radiation with the thickness of the me- absorbing medium is directly proportional to the intensity of incident radiation as well as molar concentration of the solution this part is the combination of both beer law and lambert law because beer law uh, says that uh, <coughs> the uh, rate of decrease of intensity of radiation radiation is directly proportional to the intensity of incident radiation and lambert law says that it is directly proportional to the molar concentration of the solution here beer lambert is, lambert law is a combination of both beer law and lambert law that says that uh, 
which is directly proportional to the intensity of incident radiation as well as the molar concentration of the solution. Okay, then next mathematical expression for Beer Lambert law. First, minus di by dx is proportional to ic, that is uh, where i is the intensity of radiation and c is the molar concentration of the solution. Then we are uh, multiplying this equation with a constant k, the, uh, then equation will be d minus di by dx is equal to k into i into c. Then we are rearranging this equation di by i is equal to minus kc into dx, where uh, I0 is the incident intensity and Ix is the emerging intensity after passing through a thickness of medium X. That is, uh, I0 is incident intensity, that is the intensity of radiation, uh, incident, intensity of incident radiation and Ix is the emergent intensity, that is intensity of emerged radi radiation. Then X is the thickness of medium. Then we are integrating this equation between two limits, that is I0 and Ix, where I0 is the uh, in intensity of incident radi radiation as our early search and the Ix is the intensity of emergent radiation. We are integrating this equation between these two limits that is integral I0 to Ix di by di is equal to di by i is equal to minus kc into integral 0 to x dx. On integration we get the equation log Ix by I0 is equal to minus k into c into x. Then again we are converting this natural logarithm to 10 base logarithm, then we are multiplying this equation by 2.303, that is log Ix by I0 is equal to minus Kcx by 2.303. Again, we are re rearranging this equation to log I0 by Ix is equal to Kcx by 2.303, where the principle log A by B is equal to minus log A by B is used. Then again, we are uh, substituting some quantities, that is log I0 by Ix is equal to epsilon Cx where a is the a is equal to epsilon uh, cx where a is the log i0 by x known as absorbance or optical density and epsilon is the uh, value of k by 2.303 known as molar absorption coefficient next what is molar absorption coefficient from the equation log i0 by ix is equal to epsilon cx we can uh, find out that epsilon is equal to 1 by Cx into log I0 by Ix. This equation is get from uh, the rearrangement of this equation. When Ix is equal to 1 by 10th of I0 and C is the C is uh, 1 mole per liter, then epsilon is equal to 1 by X. That means the intensity of emergent radiation is equal to 1 by 10th of the instant radiation and the concentration of the solution is 1 mole per liter, then epsilon is equal to 1 by X. So, from this we can find out a definition for the molar absorption coefficient. That is, molar absorption coefficient is defined as the reciprocal of the thickness of a 1 molar solution which reduces the intensity of radiation to 1 by 10th of its initial value. That is the definition for molar absorption coefficient. coefficient. Okay. Then unit of epsilon. For a given solvent and radiation of given frequency, epsilon is the characteristic of the solute. That means, uh, for a given value of radi uh, given solvent and radiation, the uh, epsilon will be or um, molar absorption coefficient will be a characteristic of that, uh, solu uh, that solute used in that solution. The unit of epsilon is uh, liter per mole per centimeter. And then transmittance. Transmittance T is equal to Ix by I0. That is transmittance, uh, transmittance T is the ratio of emergent intensity to the incident intensity. Transmittance is known as the ratio of emergent intensity to the, to the incident intensity. That is, since A is equal to log I0 by X, we can uh, rearrange this equation as A is equal to minus log T. Okay. Then, we, uh, we are discussing about uh, Beer-Lambert law. Beer-Lambert law has some limitations. Some of they are, first one is the solution, is, uh, solution must be dilute. Otherwise, the Beer-Lambert law will be deviate from the uh, condition. So then the second one is there is no solute solvent interaction. If there is any sol solute solvent interaction, the Beer Lambert law will deviate and the result will be raw. The last and final limitation is the molar state of the solute does not change with the change in concentration. When we are, we are applying the molar, uh, Beer Lambert law, the uh, state of solute does not change in the change with the concentration. These three are the limitation of Beer Lambert law. 
uh, if these three uh, conditions are following then only uh, beer lambert law will follow the conditions the next one is application of beer lambert law by using beer lambert law we can find out the concentration of a solution for that uh, take some standard solutions and then uh, uh, find out the absorbance of specific uh, specific quantity of that then plot the uh, plot a graph against concentration versus absorbance then we will get this like a graph a straight line graph uh, by finding out the absorbance of the unknown concentration and so unknown concentration solution uh, we can extrapolate the graph and find out the concentration of this solution that is the application of beer lambert's law then here you have an assignment to uh, evaluate your uh, your uh, information some data is given here that is concentration in mole per liter and then absorbance in here there is a unknown uh, concentration solution find out the uh, concentration of this solution that is the assignment for you okay thank you